for all my resin printers out there, printing with something that looks like this, you know that you have to deal with the resin vat that looks like this. On the bottom of the resin vat is a fragile material known as FEP. If you're not careful, you might actually scratch, scour, or even tear a hole in your FEP bed. You'll know when this happened because your resin will pour all over the place. Now don't panic because this is a very simple repair and FEP is actually a consumable and it's meant to be replaced. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the process right now. This is the vat from an Anycubic Photon M3. It's very similar to the vat in other Anycubic resin printers and even other brand resin printers. You will notice that there's a hole in the FEP bed. This causes all the resin to pour out and is obviously not good. So we're gonna replace it. The first thing you're gonna need is Scott's Blue Shop Towels. I use these for absolutely everything. These are super because they're strong. They don't rip or tear, they absorb a lot, and they don't shed. I placed one underneath my vat to protect my surface and catch any residue from resin that might be on it. To do this repair, you're gonna need your broken vat and an FEP film set like this one. The proper tool for this particular kit is going to be a T10. We are going to turn this thing over. And on the bottom, you're going to notice about 9,000 screws. These are T10s. I recommend doing it by hand with a little T10 tool such as this. Or you can break out your T10 from your favorite tool kit and stick it in your favorite manual or electric screwdriver. I like to use this really tiny Ryobi Electric. Now we're going to pop these screws out. Be gentle, you don't want to strip them. Once all the screws are out, lift your bed up and set it aside. Pop open your new FEP set. This is an official Anycubic set. Do be careful. There are two, they may be stuck together, may look like one, and you may end up dropping one on the floor, so don't do that. It turns out you don't need this instructional video because the directions are right here. That's it, two steps. But because we are friends, we are gonna do this together. This has a shrink wrap around it. Yours will probably have something similar. Let's go ahead and be really careful and not scratch the new FEP bed. One thing you might notice is that the new FEP bed is beautiful and probably in better shape than the one that came with your printer. You're going to place it down so that the screws have the beveled side facing up. In other words, the diamond shape of the screw goes down into the material. And we're just going to press that gently into the vat. And then we're going to take the screws from the old FEP and reuse them in the new. This is super tedious. Take your time and do it right. You might notice that the bed is a touch warped. That's okay. It's made of nylon or some type of soft plastic that will conform to the shape of your bed over time. So just work it in gently at first and help it take the shape of your vat. I'm going to do them all loose so that it starts to get that shape and then I'll tighten them up a little bit more after they're all on loose. I would really strongly suggest doing this manually with a hand tool. If you want to use a power tool, use something gentle like this. This is a lithium screwdriver. It's Ryobi, in case you didn't know, Ryobi is a Home Depot brand. It costs about 20 bucks, and I'll put the link in my description. As you snug up the screws, the FEP is going to pull down tight over the vat, kind of like if someone took a plastic bag and pulled it over somebody's face like in a horror movie. How it stretches out over their face, right? I know it's a terrible analogy, but that's what's happening here. So don't overdo it because you don't want to break your FEP or crack this plastic. Just snug it up enough so that the FEP is stretched properly over the 
that it makes a good seal and your resin won't leak all over the place you should just turn all of them little bits at a time to inch the thing down a little bit at a time evenly you don't want to crack or stress anything and you're just going to be feeling with your fingers for what feels okay to you and there you have it a brand new crystal clear fully intact ready to use resin printer fep resin vat i'm greg adventure your instructor on 3drundown.com and fixing this 3d printer resin vat was today's adventure